friend how is it going welcome back to auto resource youtube channel in this video i will use this 2011 jetta tdi as an example to show how you can perform forcing dpf regeneration volkswagen didn't offer anywhere in the menus on these vehicles to be able to choose the DPF region but you don't have to own Volkswagen hardware and software or the aftermarket company Rostech to be able force that diesel particulate filter regeneration here you can see my Autel MS906 I had pretty good success with this unit for my Volkswagen vehicles and Mercedes bands which I had in the past including sprinters which are turbo diesels so I would like to just share with you what you can expect from such a unit how it works and if you maybe should purchase one it's always choice between the Rostech if you only own Volkswagen products and you want to stick with those or if you have more different vehicles definitely Autel is a great company and works for me pretty good so we are just selecting the vehicle it's a Jetta 2011 and higher in USA and Canada and it's a CJAA 2 liter TDI common rail diesel and here it's confirmed here and there are all kinds of functions right now as you can see and there are different ways to uh, get to them so you can use hot functions or diagnosis as I said different ways to skin the goat we want to do the engine so I will be not auto scanning the computer and sit here forever we will pick up the engine control module we'll see if there are any codes at this moment I'm still struggling with that P0401 and P2002 at this moment there's nothing in it and basically to get there we can go in guided functions and there's a lot of really important stuff but I promised you in this video forced DPF region and if I look correctly it's right here service the regeneration for diesel particle filter now if I go you can also do the NOx catalytic converter I did that in the past on this vehicle I did all of it and I'm still not able to smog it uh, because regarding basically TSB from Volkswagen I should replace DPF and NGR low pressure filter uh, meanwhile I'm learning about this generation of uh, TDIs that come on rail and look so current suit load I hope you will be perfectly able to read it I'll try to get rid of that glare as much as I can so current suit load it's calculated 7.5 grams measured 0 grams and now which regeneration would like to perform so emergency regeneration which is stationary so we will be sitting here and we will be waiting until the temperature will go up to the 190 Fahrenheit I'm just showing you the options and what can be done I drove this vehicle today actually I didn't I used the Passat TDI so that's why the engine is cold just wanted to show you what are the options and what you can get from these tools so there's 
two choices and I did both emergency regeneration stationary which is recommended recommended and that you will be doing at idle the system will guide you through it or you can do forced regeneration while driving for the assessment of driving performance impairments I did both when engine is hot the number one choice takes like a couple minutes the one the forced region while driving it took my friend in different conditions I will say at least 20 minutes 20 minutes of driving it tells you first and beginning that it needs to be two people because it's too dangerous looking at the scanner and while driving and they don't want you to get in the accident or them being liable for it so there's a lot of precautions on that and uh, after you agree to all of that it will say hey you need to drive over 55 and you just keep need to keep that speed which I did only for like 10 minutes because then I had to turn around and drive back on that road which I selected for it which is totally fine it didn't care that I went all the way to the first gear and had to turn around and the speed went down to the 10 miles per hour and then I really quickly uh, uh, went back over 55 and after 20 minutes it said it was done successfully and I don't have a problem with DPF now again if you look on the temperature I will select it for you the number one so you can see it sorry for all these glares so hard to do that warning danger of fire the exhaust blah 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 right that is all that stuff they are warning you you cannot be somewhere in the dry uh, hay you cannot drive and do it in the barn full of hay which will catch on fire because it, it's so uh, it's so hot the extra uh, temperatures Here you can see the fuel tank level and this and that blah 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 Let's keep asking you if it was mad and now current coolant temperature is 55.8 and it will wait until 75 I think our temperature should be high enough so let's try that stationary one I cannot hold a camera and do the driving one but let's go for the option number one and let's see you can see it live uh, how it works so current suit load 8.1 grams Current suit measure zero. Which regeneration would like you to perform? Emergency number one or forced while driving number two? I cannot film all of that, so let's go and look at least on the number one. Here is the warning. Hopefully, you can see it trying to watch the scanner and the uh, phone screen so you can see everything. Sorry for the glare. Switch off the ignition now and on again after five seconds I actually did that and that's for nothing check all these have the conditions been met yes and now it's coming let engine to idle it will start automatically sequence and doing so yeah let's go the glow plugs are warming up everything. The routine is starting. Now follow the instructions below according to the exact sequence. Slowly depress pedals, brakes. Excuse me, that was my jacket. Full load press. This is flashing. 
diesel particulate regeneration was completed successfully. Current suit load 8.1, current suit load measured 0, 0.0 G's end of test. So that was super fast, don't you think? End of test. And we are done. The glow plug stopped flashing and basically there was a very quick DPF region because I did it many times recently trying to deal with that P0401 and P2002 so that's one of the options using Autel scanner I hope many of you will find this video helpful there's no way for me to keep the scanner hold the camera and keep driving and show you how it's done when you are really moving so please forgive me that but I wanted to give you some kind of idea or guidance what you can do with aftermarket uh, tools on a TDI and if you are trying to decide if you want to invest in the raw stack or you want to buy just generic Autel uh, hopefully in this case it will be helpful thank you for watching and please be subscribed and have notification on because I will keep filming this TDI uh, there are already many videos out and many videos are coming your way so you don't want to miss those thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.